hi there this video is for those whose hairline starts from the middle of their head i want yamileko gently kung fu fighter you know those uh, kung fu fighters that you scrape the front of their hair and leave from the middle yes this video is for you if you are like that and you want to grow your hair and you want to grow your edges this is the video for you i have made previous videos like this but i'm not going to be sharing this the different i'm not going to be sharing the same information i'll list those videos in the description box so that you can go back and watch them and then or watch this one first go and watch them two of them later i will also link them in the card so watch out any cards you see just know that it has to do with edges so let's get into it there are some things that you are probably doing that you don't know that are helping you lose they are helping you to lose your edges they are helping you to become bad they are assisting you in becoming bald and i'm going to point those things out to you today that's what all this video is about so this is it you see the satin satin bonnet see the satin bonnet <laughs> like this is a satin bonnet but the edges of the satin bonnet is not made of satin like where is the sense in that it doesn't make sense so if you're using this type of satin bonnet eh please stop just stop because this thing first of all the material is coarse it's not satin even the inside of the bonnet is not satin like i don't really get this satin bonnet at all like I don't get it. First of all, it's not satin on the edges. Second of all, it's tight. And you think that you're doing yourself a good uh, sell. Like you're doing, your, you're doing yourself good by wearing this. But it is actually not like that. Because first of all, it's rubbing on your edges with the rough material. And second of all, it's tight. Now, and I know you must have this. Or you're wondering like, this is what has been sold to us as satin bonnet what me i know and i refer and i know that is satin bonnet is this let me just show you guys this is what i feel is a satin bonnet first of all it's made of satin inside and outside not like the other one that the inside is coarse second of all it has elastic on the edges i'm going to put uh, a few links to people that sell satin bonnets in the description box uh and uh, i'll arrange with them maybe you have a code to use to buy yours but this satin bonnet is the best the elastic the satin is not tight you know like like so free and you know doing its job protecting your hair well this is not it so one of the reasons your edges may be receding your edges may be going bald is because you're using the wrong satin bonnet you can also use a satin scarf and of course you tie it on your forehead wear your bonnet on your forehead don't wear your bonnet on your hairline in order to reduce the chances of getting bald please stay to stay please stick to the ones that have loose that are loose around the edges stick to the ones that are made of satin inside and outside and just look for quality and not mainstream or what everybody is buying another culprit is using brushes on your edges all the time you want to slay your edges use brush the next day use brush use brush, use brush, brush, brush. using brush 30 out of 31 days in a month it doesn't help you it is it is not favorable for your hair not favorable for your edges see eh? the thing is there are people that can actually get away with it while the others, while some others can't get away with it. And they are looking up to those that can get away with it. It depends on your hair. Uh, like me, I have noticed that when I wear wigs, there's no how. I'm going to show you pictures of my wig. My wig. <laughs> my wig saga. <laughs> my wig saga. But before we get to this, let's just talk about the brushes. I don't see anything wrong in you using your fingers to apply your gels. There's nothing wrong with it. And it will look the same. I actually use my fingers to slay my edges. So I don't think anybody has any excuse for using brushes on their hair every day, 365 days a year. It's not favorable for your hair. So stay away from hard brushes. Stay away from tooth brushes for edges. And just be gentle. If you want to slay, maybe slay three times out of seven days a week, 
you know give your edges a rest don't use anything hard don't use anything uh, any any hard bristle brushes on your edges all the time okay another thing you may not be doing good is eating healthy eating healthy promotes growth eating healthy promotes your edges growth and your and your hair growth in general there is nothing that can take the place of good nutrition you know you get your vitamins you get your carbs you get your protein which is very important just make sure you eat a whole a, a, just make sure you eat an oral up just make sure you eat an all around all around healthy just make sure you eat all around healthy food you know add some greens to your rice and i know i'm saying this but i'm not actually practicing what i'm preaching but don't do as i do do as i say <laughs> the last thing here is that you're, you're taking your hair and your edges to incompetent hairdressers incompetent hairdressers incompetent hair braiders they don't know how to take care of natural hair most of these hair braiders especially in nigeria and if you try to correct them they just get angry and maybe they may even tell you that that they are not making your hair again or something and just keep complaining pushing your head from if you see that a hairdresser does not know how to handle your hair and she does not want to change please stand up from her chair even if she wants to ask you for money like she has started just gently give her the money and walk out of there your hair you have to be bold with hairdresser and that's something i've actually struggled with being bold with hairdressers i'm so fortunate that the hairdressers have, that have made my hair in the past one year have been doing all right and i actually make sure i detangle my hair i moisturize i do everything protein treatment before i carry my hair to a hairdresser so you have to be bold you have to be strict to your hairdresser don't let them just do anything on your hair they are picking your edges and you tell them you don't want that and they don't want to listen to you and they keep doing what they they feel they need to do you need to stop them right there like tell them you are not interested in making your hair anymore if they are not ready to treat your hair with the kind of care that it needs so that's basically the tips i have for you guys today you know just something different not your usual moisturizer i have the i have those actually and i'll link them in the cards and i'll also link them in the description box for you to learn how to grow your edges thank you for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel share with your friends and loved ones uh comment your uh, natural hair edges growth tips and i'll see you in the next video bye